what is up y'all you already know i'm back with another voiceover and woo chile would you look at this kitchen y'all i promise you my house does not ever get this bad but it was my birthday weekend and it was a lot going on y'all so here's the before of my kitchen now today i'm focusing on three rooms my kitchen my bedroom and my bathroom in my bedroom because those were the rooms that needed the most help and the most love so it was 2 a.m and i was just looking at my kitchen and i'm just like no it's not giving i need to deep clean i'm a clean freak i'm like what is going on so i always start by removing all this stuff off my counters that just kind of gives me clarity like okay the counters are clean i could think when there's so much clutter, I'm like, it's just a lot going on. So I'm taking everything, I'm putting it away. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to hop on this voiceover. I am kind of just want to let you guys watch what's going on because it's really satisfying. Like, I'm really cleaning my whole three rooms real deep clean with it, real deep clean with it. So I might hop back on just to talk about the products I use and stuff. But yeah, get into it. Okay, we have to tackle these dishes. It's something about a clean sink for me. Like, if you got dishes in the sink, is your house even clean? Like, you've got to get those dishes in the dishwasher. Thankfully, I have a dishwasher because I don't know what I would do without a dishwasher with the amount of dishes I use on a daily basis. So, I'm popping that thing in. I needed to put some, I don't even know what this is called, but it makes your dishwasher run better. So, I'm putting that in there and then popping in, um... A dishwashing detergent boom 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 let that run for two hours and then i gotta wash this pan because obviously it can't fit in the dishwasher Okay, y'all, now this is where the clean really comes in. You gotta scrub that sink down. After you put them dishes in the dishwasher, you gotta scrub the sink down. That's mandatory. Like, that's just the rules of life. I've been using this little Glad spray. It smells like, oh, no, 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 it's Gain. It smells like Gain, y'all. It smells so good. It just smells like laundry in the sink. Like, bomb. I put it all over my counters and stuff, too, which y'all gonna see. But scrub it down.
So before you go to bed every night, y'all, make sure you're just wiping the counters down and sweeping the floor. That's how you keep your house clean. Wipe the counters, sweep the floor. Because really, that's where the mess comes from. Just clutter on the counters and the floor looking just a little messed up. You don't got to mop, okay? But just sweep the floor and, and wipe down the counters. So I'm doing a bleach and fabuloso mix for my counters. Now, I know we're not supposed to mix chemicals here, but listen, something about the smell of bleach. Well, something about the disinfecting of bleach and the smell of fabuloso. I just love it and I'll never stop. I'm sorry, y'all. It just smells so good and it actually disinfects. Like fabuloso really is only for the smell. That's the tea. But bleach, obviously, we know that kills the germs. So we have to get the germs killed, but we also want our counters to smell good, you know? Okay, wipe everything down, under everything. Don't be lazy, please. Just do it all. Do it all. This is your motivation. Like, I know cleaning can just seem so much when your house gets, like, a wreck. But the feeling of a clean house, the smell of a clean house, this is your motivation. You got to get up, girl. I know it's been rough. I know you looking around and just like, I don't even know where to start. Start with the counters. Start with the counters and with the floors. Start with the counters and with the floors. Okay? I got you, girl. We're going to get motivated. So remember when I told y'all that we got to clean under everything? I meant everything, girl. Like anything with cotton cloth that gets easily dirty, throw it in the washer. I threw my runner in the washer because it had a couple stains on it. And no, we can't do that. Everything's getting clean today. I also got some chairs that you can't see that I'm about to wipe down. Just really disinfecting everything. Like I said, the bleach. It's the bleach for me. I love the smell of bleach. I don't know. Some people hate it, but... I would recommend cracking a window just because the fumes can get a little bit much, but disinfect, disinfect, disinfect. You'll feel so much better. Obviously, Corona, Corona is still around here, so wipe your house down every night, even every other night, but do it. And oop, we about to get to sweeping. What did I say? Start with the counters and with the floors. I love a good sweep. We're going to sweep everything and then we're going to mop.
So I took this steamer from my mom's house about a year ago and she has not she has not gotten it back because I love it. Like when I say it has my floors glistening, I put some fabuloso in there. Hopefully it's cleaning it, y'all. I know it smells good and it looks clean, so we can hope. All I know is that house gonna smell good after using this. And also what I like is it's a really, really hot steam. So your whole kitchen starts to steam up because this thing is so hot, which I love. It's giving disinfecting. But guess what? We about to be done and we're moving to my room. Girl, I know. Listen, <laughs> you don't even gotta tell me. I know, it was definitely time to strip my sheets. I wash my sheets every two weeks, so it was just about that time, taking all my pillows off of my bed. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite pillow ever in a second. Literally love this pillow from Life Wit. Let me show you what up close, cause you need to get into this pillow. So, like I said, I got this pillow from Life Wit, and when I say this is like a hotel pillow on steroids, the best comfiest pillow i have ever used in my life it's got sink in softness which means that they use micro silicone polyester fiber so your pillow is super super fluffy forever like it's giving longevity okay and it also has lightweight support so their use of silicone infused polyester means more elasticity in the queen bed pillows with higher airflow okay so you're gonna be comfortable you're not gonna get hot like my face gets a little hot in my pillows but not with life wet and then they also have a perfectly balanced fill so it doesn't matter you got a big head a small head a heavy head a light head it's gonna sink perfectly into this pillow and then best of all it's machine washable so so you could clean your pillow and you don't get acne from it okay clean your pillow girl clean your pillow i love this pillow from life Wit. i'm gonna have it linked down below so you guys can shop literally the most comfortable pillow i've ever used like i said and girl guess what they are oeko test certified which means that their pillow and their cover are tested under the oek text standards okay so they are certified you can trust in them and use the link down below if you're interested in getting a new comfortable pillow because you need one it's a necessity okay shop below So I washed all my pillows last week, so I just ended up throwing them back on my bed. And y'all, that night I slept with a throw blanket because my sheets were in the washer. But it's okay because I had clean sheets the next day. Then I just went ahead to like my nightstand and I just had to spray it down with some Pledge. I love Pledge. It's not too oily, but it's not too stripping. So it just gives a nice little clean with a little sheen. You feel me? A little sheen. So I wiped all that down, put my little decorations on my nightstand, yeah, I made it all cute. So let's just pretend that I have a blanket on my bed, but as you can see, much better, nice and clean. Everything's wiped down. And FYI, I vacuumed two days ago, so that's why I didn't show me vacuuming, but make sure you're vacuuming. And we're on to this horror scene, like a murder scene, okay? It was the day after my birthday, I was getting ready. And you know us girls, it, we get ready in a rush. And clearly I got ready in a rush and it shows. So I'm just going ahead again, taking everything off the counters. I'm telling y'all, remove everything off the counters, wipe the counters down, do the floors and it will look amazing. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do.
So for my counters in my bathroom, I don't like to cross contaminate, like I need wipes. So I use these Clorox wipes, which I love because obviously they're disinfecting wipes and it's very important to disinfect your bathroom. Like you know how much dead skin and hair and just germs are in your bathroom, girl? It's kind of gross if you think about it. So get you a real disinfecting, whether it's a spray or wipes, I recommend wipes, but whatever you use, make sure it's actually disinfecting the surface and not just making it smell good because our whole purpose is to get the germs out of our bathroom girl you need a clean bathroom and it's something about a clean bathroom like I don't know why I didn't show myself lighting my candles but in every room I was lighting a candle I love candles it just is the icing on the cake so I'm going ahead and wiping down all my counters and then I'm gonna put some stuff back on the counters So I guess it didn't show me wiping down my toilet with the Clorox wipes, but I also did that. And then I'm just going ahead and taking some disinfecting spray and cleaning my toilet. Oh, girl, clean your toilet, like especially with the wipes. Wipe down the seat, wipe down everything, girl, from the floor up. And of course, we're finishing with sweeping to get a nice clean look. I hope you guys enjoyed this extreme clean at 2 a.m. If you want more cleaning videos like this, make sure to let me know by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the fam if you have not. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video.